Hey, what's up guys? I've got a quick unboxing here. This is, as you can see from the title, um, the Batman animated series uh, from the 90s. This is the first time on Blu-ray and it comes with like some Funko Pops and stuff. Um, can I rip this and I'll just cut it? I haven't even opened this up yet. I usually open it up to see how it is first, but this time I thought, well, let's do it together. Just because... Here it is. Is there a number on this? There is a number, okay. My number is 31487 out of 69048. 69,000 of these. That's not, I mean, that's, I guess it's limited to a point. Anything under like 100,000 is kind of, I guess I consider limited for a, a multi release destination. But um, here it is. Um, it's got these mini Funko Pops, and I honestly did not like this design. I'm, I think there's a, a case inside. In fact, this is kind of dented and stuff, too. This is just an outer box. I'm not really... You know, look at this. It's kind of dented there. It's just a thin cardboard, so hopefully I can see on the back here. I think this is the actual thing inside, so I'm going to take that out. And actually, let me take this off. I'm, I'm rambling, sorry. I'm fucking... But anyway, this is obviously the Batman... Com Batman the Complete Animated Series Deluxe Limited Edition. Um, that comes with a digital copy, which I'm just going to sell online because I'm not going to need both. Um, pocket Pops. Those are called Pocket Pops. This is Batman, Harley Quinn, and the Joker. Hold on. Let me cut this. I um I pre-ordered this back in <coughs> excuse me in July I believe I think so anyway um, because at the time when it first was announced back in well, whatever the hell that was it was a um, hundred and like forty dollars something like that and at first I thought I'm just I'm just I'm not gonna be buying that because I was not a I I wasn't as big a fan of this show as everyone else online seemed to be I watched the show but I don't think I was a religious watcher the, having it on Blu-ray is something I'm very happy to get because I. I'm interested in having it and keeping it and watching it in the best high quality um, display. How do I open this there? Oh, okay. I thought that was glued on. It's not. So hold on. First thing is the Funkos. Here is. Actually, should I take these out? Fuck it, let's take them out. That's really fucking small. I might just leave those in there. Look at that. Go on there. Made in Vietnam. So yeah, there's those. Those are very small and dainty. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with those. I don't know if they're collectible exactly, but still cool, I guess. Here is oh. here's the set itself. Actually, I don't know if that's normal to have that line there. I guess whatever. Got some poking out there. I'm really picky about this shit, but it's not like it's a big deal. There's the nice Batman symbol. That's cool. This is nice thick cardboard. It's got a nice design on the front. It's uh, glossy with a kind of a, a metallic on the uh, colors there. I like this image too. I like that. Um, yeah. Should I have read the back? I didn't really do that. <clears throat> For those that want to, I guess you could pause it or not. It says it comes with. The little pops, and it's got a seven exclusive lenticular collector cards, which I assume is in here. And then it's a book format with all the episodes and the two movies. 12 disc set. I am assuming this will be released. Well, it won't be a deluxe edition. It will be a, um, um, what would you call it? Regular edition. They didn't announce it yet, as far as I know. Maybe they did. I don't think so. But, um. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's actually have a look at this first, too. Not back there. You guys. Yeah. This is Batman Animated Series, and it's just an envelope. And, oh, wow. It's a thick. There's Poison Ivy and Batman. Batman Animated Series. I bet they all have that on the back. That's kind of cool, although, you know. 
Just collectible, I suppose. Uh, again, I'm assuming the deluxe edition is the one that has this. And there's Batman and Two Face. That actually is pretty cool, though. Particularly makes it look like it's. What do you call it? Background. 3D. I'm trying, I couldn't think of the word. What the fuck? There's the penguin. As he's jumping or falling from where he comes Batman to arrest him. Yeah, I think these are. Wait, actually, they're different. Hold on. I thought they were the same. But that's a street view. It's a city view. And a different city view. Hmm. Cool. And there is, <clears throat> excuse me, Batman and the Joker, and then a damsel in distress back there. Ooh. Free balls here, five cents. Sulfuric acid. That's fucking. He's being mean. <laughs> and that is the Bat Cave, I think. Can't tell. Yeah. Hmm. There's Batman and Catwoman flying through the city. Hmm. Just a building. And there is um, Batman and he's fighting the Joker and Harley Quinn there, it looks like. She's got a pop gun and she, he has a pop gun too. <laughs> That's funny. Fucking insane. Laugh Co. Hmm. That's creepy. And the last one, <clears throat> just picture Batman himself flying through. And the picture of the police station. I, remember, I liked the design of this uh, series. I'm really curious to see how it looks in HD. I've only ever seen it in, in uh, standard depth. Shit. Dropping these out. Yeah. I could never double, like, shuffle the deck of cards before or something. How many was that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did it say seven? I think it said that. Maybe I'm just whatever. And that's all that's in here. So that's what that is. So, I mean, it's nice to have, but it's not really, you know, a big deal. It's cool, but whatever. And that most certainly won't be. I'm assuming this and this won't be in the um, the standard definition one. And it actually, wouldn't surprise me if the digital copy isn't either, or the movies, depending. Let's take this out of here. Okay. There it is. Like I said, this is a nice sturdy case. I think you're obligated to like tap on this when you have something that's nice and thick, as opposed to this. Look at this. Who cares, right? You wouldn't tap on that. You'd tap on this because it's thick. That's what she said. Oh, it is coming out there. Huh. I don't like that. It, it kind of indents on the sides like that, but you know. Here's the book with the disc sticking out, as you can see. The book like it's in good shape, I think. Good quality again. Reminds me of um, the Madman one I have that's got... It's much larger than this, but it's still... Okay. In fact, hold on a sec. Where's my digital copy? I'll bet it's in here somewhere. It better be in here. There it is, okay. <laughs> and it's just one code. Cool. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> Oops. Here's an introduction or a, uh, what do you call it? A little prologue from Alan Burnett, writer and producer, Batman the Internet Series. You can pause that if you want. I'm not going to read it right now. Thick pages. Well, they're not too thick. They're still a little bendy. I forgot to show this. This scene with some more um, villains. In fact, these are just, are these all the villains right here? That's Joker, Catwoman, Two Face, Riddler, Mister Freeze, a Poison Ivy, and a Penguin down there. And then of course there's other people that we don't know here, but those are the main ones. So there at disc one, there's a picture of. It says here season one, picture of uh, characters, and then episode breakdown. There's 13 episodes on this first disc, and I think these are all, are these, was it half an hour long, I think? Or were they an hour long? Because if these were 40 minutes each, that's a lot of episodes on one disc. I'm guessing these were a half hour each. And here's the first disc. It's not too bad to get them out, but I'm not a huge fan of cases like that. Hold on, let me see if there's any smudges. I might have just put a smudge on it. 
think it's okay. But yeah. That's disc one. I can show you the episodes again here. It says, look, the first five episodes have um, introductions by Bruce Tim and a commentary on the first episode. Hmm. It's never too late. Okay. Hmm. And special features. Dark Knight's first night pilot promo hosted by Bruce Tim. 1991. Cool. Here's episode, uh, season one and disc two. Episodes 14 to 26. So only one commentary on this one. But he's special feature on somewhere. Two of the back cave. Very cool. I think the episode that I always think of is um, uh, the Clayface ones. That's probably those two episodes there. Yeah, I'll bet these must be half hour long. That makes more sense. The Clock King and Death. This is actually, it's funny thinking about these now, these episodes. I didn't watch the show a lot growing up, but I remember it, and I remember episodes here and there. I believe Von Perlman is the voice of Clayface. Make the disc look okay, as they should. Season one again, it's just a picture of Joker and Joker. Disc three, episodes 27 to 39. A couple more commentaries and some more special features. Oh, Gotham Sky, the stalwart. Supporting character, that is not the only hero safe and upside. Oh, it's a cool documentary, nice. That might be new, I don't remember. I have to look to say in the back. I don't know. Season one continued this picture of uh, Penguin, 40 to 52. Damn, there's a lot of episodes. Jesus. Voices of the Night. <coughs> Excuse me. Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy, Adrian Barbeau, Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., and Andrea Romano. Romano, excuse me. So bringing these iconic characters to life. Awesome. Uh, only one commentary this time, though. I'm assuming that's all for season... Oh, there's more. Jesus. That's Harley Quinn. Season 1, Disc 5, Episodes 33 to 65. Damn, I forgot how many episodes there were. I mean, there's only two... Is there three seasons? I guess we'll find out here. There's all them. I guess you can pause. I'm, gonna, I'm taking too long here. There's Season 2. But you're Robin punching um, Two-Face. <coughs> Excuse me. Episodes 1 through 10. And a couple of commentaries. Season 2, Disc 2, Episodes 11 to 20, and there's nothing, no special features or commentaries in this disc, apparently. Hold on, actually, let's just show you the episodes. Hmm. Season 3, so that first season had, what, 50? 60 episodes? It's 65 episodes. Season 2 had 20, and now Season 3. Some more villains, uh, Scarecrow, Riddler, and uh, Mr. Freeze. And then episode, oops, excuse me, uh, 1 through 12, and there's a commentary on the 12th episode there. Asylum, I on the top three case files. So case files, that's cool. And then disc 2, season 3, is episodes 13 through 25. And a couple of commentaries there. Hmm. And that's it, apparently. So just... 24 episodes in that season. A uh, picture of Batman fighting Two-Face. And there's a disc, bonus disc here. Special features, the heart of Batman. And concepting Harley Quinn. So this is just a bonus disc. Rare gathering of talent to find Batman for generation 25 years later. Batman animated series. So this is definitely new. In-depth look the storyteller. That's cool. And there is Mask of the Phantasm, which I'm assuming is just the re-released Blu-rays that they've already had. I think this is the same disc. They released already. So that's a smudge. So that's cool. You can pause that if you want. Hold on. A picture of Batman and Robin, and it says Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub Zero, which I don't think I've ever seen this film. Oh, they got a couple episodes that go along with this, I guess. Hmm. You can pause that if you want. And that is it. There's the, some more bad guys lined up there. Oh, come on. 
that work? Sure. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to start watching this. Well, I might not watch it tonight. It's October. It's the 30th right now, and I'm, I still have to watch more movies and stuff. But I'll be definitely uh, cracking this open and watching an episode here or there in the future because it's been so long. And uh, this is fascinating to have, and I would like to see how the quality looks on these. And um, So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a little more long-winded than I expected, but, of course, you know, I had to go through everything. But, um, this too. Batman animated series. These are kind of stupid, honestly. But, you know... If it was like maybe just one Funko Pop and just had the top there, that'd have been kind of cool. And it would be, it'd be cool actually if there was a random one. It was randomized. And you could get one of each, a uh, one of each or one one of the three, and it would be like a regular sized pop, and that'd be more of a collectible. But you know what the hell do I know? So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been fun, and I will see you again later. Happy Halloween and all that shit. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and bye.